Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2019-20 Panini Prism English Premier League Soccer. Six box, half case, pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to Mark Matheson. He was just like, screw it. I'll just get the last six teams and just roll the dice in a fresh case and see what happens. There it is on the 25th. Six box, pick your team two. It's three. Pick your team three. Unbelievable. We did the second half last night. It's fixed up there now. Unbelievable. We got Nick Jaspi's help today, too. There it is. Pick your team three. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> yeah, the, the pug's name is Bubba, but... Killer sounds pretty good. Bubba the Killer. Bubba. Bubs. Bubbles. Bubble Bobble. The Bubs. Oh, thanks. He is a good guard dog. He'll bark at anything suspicious. He's usually pretty quiet. Otherwise, but... If he senses, because he's not like a yappy dog, which is good. But if he gets uh, if he gets a little suspicious, then he'll then he'll bark. All right. So there's six boxes on the left side, six boxes on the right side. We're just gonna roll the die and see which one we're gonna do. I like that one right there. So one, two, three for the left six, four, five, six for the right six. And it's two. So we'll do the left side right here. This we will save for next time. Do we have any more of this stuff? Yeah, one more. Oh, we have one more. Okay, so, okay. so we'll mark these uh, four. So you know that they're from the same case. All right, so there's four right there. And here we are in break three. All right, I think Nick Cam is all set up and you'll be able to see Nick helping us out. Mark Madsen got all the spots. He's saying he just wants to see Nick work. <laughs> Yeah, where'd you get those panini box cutters? Oh, wow, at the industry Vegas. summit? Yeah. Just trying to buy our love with nice box cutters, huh? Yeah. My, uh, John Harshbarger says, let's break the NT baseball and say we didn't. We we couldn't, if we even if we wanted to. We don't even have them here. They're not even delivered. So we can even sneaky do it. Kenton, what's going on? Um, Bubba does snore. If he's sleeping very deeply, he'll snore. Otherwise, he's not much of a snorer. Austin Matthews facing disorderly conduct. But uh, Kenton saying, are there going to be live in-store breaks with alcohol when the store opens? I don't know what that. I guess we could drink a beer or two here, but I don't know if we can actually serve it. If you brought... I guess a beer and started drinking it while watching me through the through the studio window. I suppose that could be allowed. All right, so that's legal. Is that not legal? I don't know. Yeah. Can you? I mean, they serve like people like women shop for wedding dresses and they serve them champagne and stuff. Yeah, but that's they're buying like twenty thousand dollar wedding dresses. Yeah, okay, they're buying twenty thousand dollar cards here. That's true. Why not why not a refreshing beer? There's Joel Matip. So these I these aren't know. numbered, so I'm just kinda of breezing by I don't these. Know how much dress There's Ederson to one forty nine. It's a very nice wedding dress, Nick. I'm glad you're saving know. up. Ladies. What they say <laughs> Ladies, Nick yeah. Jaspi's ready to drop twenty grand on a wedding dress. What do they for you. say for a wedding ring? Like Ooh. six months pay or something? I don't know, something ridiculous. There's Diogo Dalot to 199. 
Wait, we have to have a license, but it's cheap. What, like, so I can't drink? What if I just had a beer in here? I can't do that? So you're saying you can serve it for free? I'd take a $20,000 wedding dress, Mac Holmes, any day. And our first autograph is Christian Fuchs. Leicester City's Christian Fuchs. That goes to Jeremy Frisch. What if people brought their own booze, Trey, and started drinking on the property? Do I still need a license for that? Because we should talk to the city of Formosa Beach. Bob Holding. And look at that. Ruben Neves. A second auto in the box. Bonus auto. That's for the Wolverhampton Wanderers. The Wolves. Mark Matson with that. Oh, you can have like a... There's like a BYOB license. Okay, I see. Yeah, but then don't you have the IDs? I don't know. I mean, I would assume if they are carrying their own booze... Yeah, but they might they have were had able... someone else buy it. Mm -hmm. well, that just sounds like a hassle, then. They, and then they drink it on your property and then you get charged. Oh, then. man. Then... It's, Right, then the cops come, right. Yeah. Maybe we're not going to do any of that, folks. I guess if you if you flasked it, if you brought a flask. Or if you show us your ID. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know, we can't be responsible for that kind of stuff. Uh, that's for Watford, that's to 99. I would just flask it, folks. Brown bag it. Yeah, just brown bag it. Out of 199, that's Jack Grealish for Aston Villa. The villains, as their rivals will call them. There's Andre Green. There's Simon Moore to 99. Nathan Redmond for Southampton. Silver. Cesar Azpilicueta. Why is the Premier logo a lion? Because um, that's, the, that's the logo of England. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when St. George killed that dragon? St. George's yeah. cross is the flag of England. And he's referred to as a, a, a lion. Lion hard out of this. No, no, there, I remember. There's that, a lion theme the there. The three lions is yep. their logo. That makes sense. Although I've never seen a lion in England. Dragons in England, absolutely. I don't know if there's any lions in England, though. Game of Thrones. That was in England? Yeah, <laughs> I think. Lions there? I guess they, I guess you could get some from it's actually North, in Westeros. North Africa and then get drag a line over. We've got two out of five, James Ward Prowse. Nice brilliance. Two out of five. The midfielder going to looks like a combo team spot. That's Jeremy Frisch. There you go. Jeremy. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. And is that my boy Divock Origi? It is. For Liverpool. That will be for Mark Matson, one of his Six last spot mojo clubs. I think Liverpool were playing a cup game today. I think everyone's playing a cup match this week. And they they beat I don't know who this team is. They play so many random teams. Milton Keynes Dons, of course. 
Beat him 2 0. DeAndre Yedlin's American, right? Yeah. Pretty sure, yeah. There he is. Pretty good for Newcastle, Mark Madsen. He was supposed to be the next big thing, and then that bullish guy came. He's still supposed to be pretty good. I think he's a good, good like defender for the American national team. Still relatively young, so hopefully, he'll provide that core for years to come. There's Oriel Romeo to 99. Oh, cool, thanks. There's Sierra Clark. We got Fabian Schar. So thanks to Nick for pack stacking these. So each of those stacks represents a box. Some of those over there. There's Robbie Brady to 199. Roy, you're so you're saying that only for selling liquor do we need a liquor license, but you can bring your own drinks without a license on private property. Does that mean customers can bring their own drinks without a license on private property? But this is technically public property, right? For open to the public. We'll save some of these pull of six too. Seamus Coleman. And we got West Morgan for Leicester City, the Foxes, to 149. And I guess we'll have to look up what wacky California law has in store for us. There's Roberto Perea to 99. Ryan Bennett for the Wolves. Lucas Mora for Tottenham Hotspur. There's Etienne Capoue to 149. Steve Cook for Bournemouth to 199. Oh, Ben Clark just putting it right out there. Tottenham suck, he says. He got a nice new stadium, though. Who's your club, Ben Ben Clark? There's Nathan Redmond for Southampton. Who do you support? And there is Wow, flashback autograph Cristiano Ronaldo. That goes to Mark Matson and Manchester United. Oh, Ben Clark supports Man City, so he doesn't like this guy either. Look how young he looks there. And Cristiano Ronaldo was pretty good, though, in the Premier League. Did what he did. Nothing else to prove in the Premier League. He went over, went, went to Spain after that. Got Jamie Vardy to 149 for Leicester City. We got David Luiz to 199. J 
Chelsea. We got Nacho Monreal, Chris Smalling. And the next box. There's Yedlin again. This time silver for Newcastle. That'll be for Mark Matheson. Soccer fans, you think, uh, think the United States will ever win a World Cup? It's Martin Kelly to 75. All right, will they win a World Cup in the next... Josh says yes. Will they win a World Cup in the next five World Cups? How about that? There's Andre Gray to 199 for Watford. That goes to the combo spot. Josh says maybe in the next five World Cups. Yeah, I was going to say, I think the, the one here in North America certainly has a chance. There's Lucas Digne and Shea Given. Sorry. Sorry, Shea. I don't have hands like Shea Given. There is keeper Shea Given for Newcastle United. That'll be for Mark Matheson. Apologies, Mark, for dropping Shea Given, but I think he's fine. Purple parallel on that one to 99. Yeah, I think the one in the the World Cup in North America. I think, I think the Americans definitely have a chance. I think cr guys like Christian Pulisic will have like a World Cup cycle under their belts. The younger guys will have some experience. The older guys will get kind of get weeded out. And I think we might be in a good spot, at least to go pretty deep. To ninety nine and. You know, home field, especially in the World Cup, home field advantage can be a very big thing. There's Fabian Balbuena to 149 for West Ham. Yep, we did pretty well in 94 when I was here. It's kind of, it's kind of a crazy World Cup because I think... They're starting the World Cup on the West Coast, and there'll be matches here in like Mexico City and LA and maybe Vancouver and stuff like that. And then it's gonna go across the country over the course of the month. There's Nemanja Matic. So yeah, so I think it'll end in, actually I don't know if the venues have been set yet for like the World Cup final. But there are a number of venues in play, and the idea is still to go from west to east. There's Joe Gomez Silver for Liverpool for Mark Matheson. They might end at. I think they're going to end it at the uh, the Giants Jets Stadium. There's Aaron Cresswell. Don't sleep on these parallels, folks. A lot of these parallels, I think, will do pretty well in a secondary market. Two more boxes to go. TJ, yeah, I do think that the final is in New York City, right? I think they've at least decided that. But I don't think they've decided like the rest of the venues and what, what matches or groups they'll, they'll host and whatnot. Ooh, 2026 is the 250th anniversary of Murica. Ooh. All right, I see, I, I see what you're getting at. United States versus the world? 
What if, what if we beat England in the final? That'd be pretty fun. We have Philly as a semi-final venue. 250th anniversary. That'll be pretty. And World Cup generally in in like June, that June July area. So if it gets scheduled right there, woo! Wait, are we gonna go to this, Josh? What if the match is on like Fourth of July? 250th anniversary, Fourth of July in Philly, United States versus England. That kind of fires me up. There's Jean-Joe Selvi. Um, the supporters in the stands will often... Uh, there's some funny Voldemort jokes that come out of there. Former Liverpool prospect as well, Jean-Joe Selvi. It's on the YouTube. Kyle Walker, Emerson Paul Mary. You get Miguel Almiron for Newcastle. Jed Steer. Jamal Lacazelle, oh, Josh King, 21 out of 99 for Bournemouth. I think those are part of the combo teams. And then we got Ben Mee to 199. And that, what does he play for again? He plays for Burnley. And that'll be part of that combo spot. Belongs to Jeremy Frisch. There's Harvey Barnes to 149. We got Alexi Sanchez. Never quite worked out at Man United. And look at this another Man United legend, Gary Neville. Gary Neville, that's a classic. And he was a pundit on Sky Sports for a little while, until 2015. But uh, Gary Neville and former uh, Liverpool legend and defender Jamie Carragher would often get into it on TV, on Sky Sports. It was pretty fun. Mark Masson with Man United. Pretty good at television, ladies and gentlemen. Last box coming up. Folks, we've got the second half of this case in the store now, jaspiescasebreaks.com. And you can pick your clubs. A lot of, uh, this is a pretty underrated, soccer is just pretty underrated in general. There's Theo Walcott, old Arsenal young prospect, now with uh, Everton, that's right. There's center defender, Joel Mati. We got Hugo Loris, World Cup winner. to 75 for a Tottenham Hotspur, that's for John Ogray. Kind of a cool cracked ice look there, John. Christian Erickson. Chowdhury. Joe Gomez. And for Chelsea, we got Zappa Costa. 71 out of 99. That will be for Mark Matson in the Chelsea spot. There's Mohamed Salah. 
Raheem Sterling, another former Liverpool player. Silver right there. We got Damari Gray to one ninety nine, Leicester City. Dwight McNeil to one ninety nine. And a future vacay location for me. It's Anfield. One of the old classic stadiums in England, in all of England. I think that I, this might be one of the oldest stadiums that are still standing, at least for Premier League teams, top flight teams. They've been doing a lot of remodeling for it. Opened in 1884, if you can believe that. There you go. I'm gonna go here someday. Gotta renew my passport too. Now that I think about it. This could be future star for us. Man that wins us the World Cup. In 2026, that'd be wild. Wilf uh, Wilfred Didi to 149 for Leicester. Got Phil Jones, and the autograph is uh, for Tottenham Hotspur. That's for John Oakray and Tottenham. And that is 38 out of 99. Toby Alderweireld, pretty solid player for the Spurs. And Neil Taylor, Martin Kelly, Melanio, and Jan close things out. And there you have it, folks. That was uh, pick your team number three from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got the second half in the store. Go and check it out, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.